you could say paying the price is letting go of ourself. But once we let go of ourself and let go again and we let go again, we find the joy. We find the freedom. We find Him. And we don't want anything else. Nothing else matters. And then we just burn with Him. And we will not deviate. We will not turn to the left or to the right. We will not turn back. But we'll just keep going. And we'll keep going and we'll keep going. Until. Until we've come into the full manifestation of who He is in all creation. coming in 
and I've never met them, I've met Jill Austin of course, but I've never seen these people in the natural realm, but I saw Smith Wigglesworth come in, I saw John G. Lake, I knew who they were, and they were seated over here, um, the lady with the flowing sleeves, uh, yeah, um, and there were others, I can't remember them all now, but they were all there observing. The last time I saw that was when I first heard you, Leon, at Wellington with um, Ian Clayton when he was opening up the gateway to Smith Wigglesworth. Do you remember? In the uh, town hall in Wellington. I first heard the sound, 2009, and I saw the same scene as the um, as they walked in, the cloud of witnesses. So I just want to honour these guys because I came in with what they carry and all of you carry and it opened up the heavens. We can see more when we're together in that corporate anointing. Get ready, next person. I'm not going to speak about what's happening personally. I'm going to speak about what I saw tonight when we started the whole this nation. As a European in this nation, my ancestry goes back to the very early 1800s. And a lot of my ancestors were God-fearing people. It's the first time I've seen them in the cloud of witnesses and they were celebrating that there was something released over this nation that they have been waiting for decades to see and it's been released tonight. Something was released. They were just, I've never seen it before. What they were doing amongst the cloud of witnesses and celebrating for what was released for this nation tonight. This morning, as we were worshipping, um, the sphere opened, the, the magnitude of love which came forth, and I learnt the name of that love this afternoon. And the last time I felt that uh, the love, it was for every tribe, every nation, every person in the earth, for all of creation, and it was just bursting. And uh, I saw it in 2017 when, when we became Ark, and I saw Ark as this enormous sphere covering, covering the earth, and it was his love. And just the depth of that this morning, and it just opened like, it was just so huge. And then we stepped further in this afternoon, and I could feel all the different realms and dimensions of, as you were sharing, Etienne, as you were just leading us through in, in that time. And something the Father said a couple of days ago, seeing the numbers of, of this gathering, uh, the fourth to the sixth, and he said on the fourth, which is the delet, number four, which is the door. He said on the fourth, you'll step through the door. And on the fifth, which is the hay and the breath of the Father. And we came face to face with him this morning. We were sharing breath. One breath. And then on the third day, <laughs> um, is six, which is Vav. And Vav is the anchoring. It's, the, it's in man, in us. And so we are on this beautiful journey and I'm just, yeah, overwhelmed at So when we were in worship tonight, I, I seen this whole body of water that was there and that water separated above and below. And from that, from the depths of the earth, I seen this, this being, this man walking through. And I asked the Holy Spirit, I said, is this Yeshua? Is this Yahweh? He said, no, it's you. It's you. And that's not only for me, it's for all of us. And we were rising up as sons of God to take our place with authority on this earth so that all of creation can start to respond and obey what we declare. Amen. Hallelujah. His arm will go forth 
into all creation. All creation doesn't mean just the earth or the earth realm. It means all creation. Everything that has been created from the moment of whatever came out of the Father. Whatever heaven is in the Father. Whatever realm is in the Father is His creation. As His arm goes forth, we, in the sound of His voice are riding on the arm of His voice. Therefore, we have now become fire. We have become creative light. We have become lightnings. We have become the very Word of God in manifestation or to bring forth the manifestation of all that the Father wants or is releasing or creating. The voice of the Father rattling, cracking over. Why do you think Israel freaked out when they came to the mountain and, No, you go. You go. How many times do we sit in our seat and say, No, you go. That's a bit wild for me. No, I'll just do it like this. And we forsake Coming into the mountain, the government of God. Because we don't realize that it's our flesh is warring against the movement and the sound. The thunder, the lightnings. Therefore we stay back. And then when you come into that place... You come into the sound of his voice. On the way to the sound of your voice, you guarantee your flesh will be shattered. You guarantee you'll be challenged in your mind. You guarantee all those things, voices in our head will be challenged. Our concepts, our ideas will be challenged. Our ways will be challenged and our flesh will be challenged. But then if we submit, we submit and we come in and we make that choice and allow the sound of His voice to start. Just taking over. (laughs) You know. Shoo! Just take over, just take over. Taking over, that his sound just start to take over and move through us. Now that's when they, they, now that's when you'll get the power and the creativity and the, the glory of God. You become the glory. You become the Word. You become who He is in all creation as He is.